How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to change the keyboard language. There's a little shortcut where you can actually change it quick if you want to maybe jump to a Spanish keyboard, back to English or Japanese, Korean. Maybe you don't want to change the whole interface to a certain language, but maybe you want the keyboard to be in a certain language, maybe for someone that you're working with that does speak a different language. So let me walk you through how to do that. Um, anywhere where you can type, you just want to kind of bring up the keyboard. And if you hold down right there on space, it will bring up this option right here. And what we're going to do, or it asks you, it says select keyboard language. Okay. So from there, I can like go to German. Okay, and now my keyboard is in German, but my whole Kindle is not in German. There is a setting, I have a separate video that will show you how to change the actual language on the Kindle, but this is just so when you type, you can uh, have it in that German keyboard, or French or English or Chinese or Spanish. To change it back, just hold down on space again, and then we go right back up to English, and it'll switch. Let's take a look at the Japanese keyboard. Okay, now... I don't think there's kind of changed, but it didn't change all the way. Let's see, switch to 10 key or change input. Let's see, change input mode. So here you have um, a lot of different options. Unfortunately, I don't really understand uh, Japanese keyboards and kind of how that works, so I can't really speak to these different options. But there are a lot of options that are built in that you can use. In fact, uh, you have a couple of symbols here. You have uh, the emoji options as well. So, uh, anywho, we want to change it back. Hold down, then we go up to English, and now the keyboard is back. Okay, so something pretty cool. Um, especially if, again, if you're working with someone or whatever that doesn't really understand the language, and you have the option to. Um, change the language for them, but you don't have to have the whole Kindle in a whole different language. Now, I want to point out something that actually was pretty cool. When you go to the Japanese keyboard, and you, um, if you hold down on this option right here, let's see, is that what I did? I think I, let's see, change input, no, that's not what I did. It actually brings up these little emojis right here. So you could actually put in these little, I didn't know you could do that. That's so crazy. I kind of learned that just now as we were doing this. Let me try it again because maybe all of the keyboards do it. Maybe I just missed it. Let's see. English. No. So it's only in the Japanese keyboard. That is pretty cool. So I'll make sure to probably do a separate video on that because that's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, this is how you change the language on your Kindle Fire HD on the keyboard. Now there's a separate video where you can change the language on the whole device, but if you just wanted to tweak the keyboard for a little while and then tweak it back, this is the better way to do it without having to possibly get caught in changing the language and not being able to change it back, okay? Again, hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to H2 Tech Videos and have a good one.